a 100 cm potential meter wire is connected in series. So this one and a wire. Another circuit down there also connect. Okay, here's where the interest, important line comes in. So the connection are made in such a way so that the 4 ohm resistor is balanced against the PD of this length L. That's a very important clue. That tells me your potential difference here, I'm going to call this VPR, the voltage. It has to be the same as the potential difference across this resistance wire. VQS. VQS has to be same as VPS because you are balancing the PD. That's how potential meters work. If you've never tried potential meter question before, you'll find this quite boggling, mind boggling. What are we supposed to find? What is length L? How do we start? Maybe we start with seeing, can we find this PR? I think we can. You see these two volts? These two volts is part of this whole circuit. So these two resistors, 4 and 6, they share, share the voltage. I take some, you take some, okay? Okay, so let's find the thing. So we're going to find the do a little bit of a ratio here. VPR over the total voltage. I'm just going to call this total. Supplied to this, this loop. That's going to be equal to the ratio of 4 ohm over the total, which is 10 ohm. This whole thing. So if you do this ratio, you would find uh, this is V total, okay? V total for the lower loop. You'll find that VPR equals to... What did I find for VPR? Press calculator, wait, ah. 0.8, I think. Okay, so this is 0 0.8 volt. First step accomplished. Now we can use this. Okay, then we go to the top part. We want to find length. We need to relate length to potential. Here's where we need to remember oh, resistance wire R equals to rho L over A. This whole wire QT uh, is, you have to make some assumptions. I assume the same material and same diameter. It doesn't get fatter or thinner. So from there, I can conclude R is proportional to L. So, now, this is the important loop. For this top loop. Hey, so is it actually also Kirchhoff's law in disguise. Eh? Okay, never mind. For this top loop, I can conclude and say that, let's do some ratios. The potential of QS over the total potential, I guess we use total, QT. Okay, so that's ratio of this short section over the entire wire potential, which is this one, no? two volts. So I'm right here also, this is VQT, equals to the ratio of the resistance, QS, over the total resistance of the wire, QT. We gotta make one more link. Because R is proportional to L, I can then say, oh, by the way, also the length of QS, which is L, is proportional to the total length of the wire, which is, did they give this to us? Ah, ah yes, 100 cm potential meter wire right on top there. So this will be 100 cm. Ah, this is the relationship of how potential meters work. So in the end of the day, I know this, I want to find this. So I can just say, okay lah. So voltage of QS is going to be 0 0.8. How do I know that? Because 0 0.8 volt up there, 0 0.8 volt down here is balanced. 0 0.8 over the total, which is 2 volts in that loop, equals to the length L over 100. Ah, this is the ratio we must understand. Don't memorize, know how to analyze, because if I change the diagram of potential meter a bit, you might get confused. So with this, we should get <clears throat> a value of 40 cm. This is cm, by the way. So that's how we can find the length of this wire. If the wire is a bit longer, resistance higher already, you know? And all the potential, everything will change. So 40 is the balance length. To balance what? Balance the potential difference here and here. If the if the potential difference is if the potential difference is balanced, is what it means. Uh, there will be no current flowing through this galvanometer. No potential difference. You put voltmeter zero. Emitter zero, galvanometer zero, because the potential is the same. 
You can redraw it now if you find it hard to recognize to so something like this. There we go. Recognize this? Looks a bit more comforting. This is V Q S. This is V P R. If they are balanced, they are the same. Okay, that's the end of this question.